Hello everyone, right here, and in this video I'm going to be doing my October and November haul. And the reason why I didn't do my October haul, I was away on vacation. So I just decided to combine my October haul with my November haul. And if you're concerned about my appearance, yes, I know, I look like shit. Uh, I feel like shit. I've had a migraine all day. I've been in bed just trying to relax, but it's literally driving me insane. I'm somebody who has to be doing something, and if I'm not doing something, I feel like I'm wasting my life away. So I'm up. I'm going to be doing this video. I'm also going to be doing some more writing on my manuscript, because if you follow my Instagram, then you know that I actually have a release date for my first novel publication. What I got in October, which wasn't a whole lot. It's only three titles. And my first title is Beowulf. Uh, this is an older uh, version of Beowulf. I think it came out in the 90s, sometime in the 90s. I have seen it before. Um, it's been an awful long time, though. I don't really remember it, but it's the story of Beowulf. If you know Beowulf, then you know what this movie is about. If you don't know, Beowulf is about a man who becomes a king by destroying, like, demons and gods and things like that. Yeah. Um, it's a very long book. If you've ever read the book, the book is actually boring as shit. The movie adaptations of Beowulf are actually pretty well done. In my opinion, I would rather watch the movies than read the book again. The next title I got is Centurion. This is another movie that I have seen before. I've only seen it once, but I enjoyed it the first time I watched it. And I wanted to get it for the collection and give it a second watch. I really couldn't tell you what this movie is about, though. It's about a war. That's, that's really all I retained from my first time watching it. And the last movie I got in October is Maxine. So this is the third title in the X movie trilogies. Um, I did see this, and I was a bit underwhelmed with this one. Uh, I, I, I'm not a big fan of this movie. Um, compared to the first two, which is X and Pearl, I really liked X and Pearl, but when it came to this one, I don't know. There was something about it. It, it was missing something that the other two had. Basically, it's about Maxine after the events of, you know, X, and um, she goes on to become a actress, well, she's more or less a porn star actress, trying to get into, like, the actual acting business. And while she's trying to fulfill this uh, career aspiration that she has, um, she also has to look out for the Night Stalker, which was a real serial killer, Richard Ramirez, who stalked the streets of California during the 80s. So that also gives you, like, a hint of, like, where the movie takes place. It's in the 80s. Um, I'm not really- I can't really remember what dates Richard Ramirez was stalking the streets and uh, killing people, but it, it does have, like, that real aspect to the movie. It doesn't really go too far with the serial killer, in my opinion. It, it's just something that's added in it. But yeah, the first time I watched this, I fell asleep, so I had to go back and rewatch it, and yeah, it was just pretty underwhelming compared to, like, the other two. Oh yes, and in October I also picked up Dragon Age Veilguard, which was a game that I had really high hopes for, because Dragon Age is one of my favorite game series. Um, I don't really want to talk about Dragon Age Veilguard. Okay, on to my November haul, and first title is Deadpool and Wolverine. This is the Walmart exclusive pop-up, but it's in a protective case, so I can't pop it up. Um, I saw this movie. It's fun. I had a great time with it. Some parts of the movie even made me laugh. But overall, it's, it's very stupid, and it's just full of cameos. It's mostly just a cameo kind of movie. Is it better than most superhero movies that have been coming out recently? Yeah. Yeah, much better. But I, I don't know. It, it's still one of those movies where I'm just like, it was fine for what it is, but it, it really had no point. It's stupid, in my opinion, but I did have a few laughs out of it. It's fun. Happy to have this exclusive slipcover. That's, that's a nice slipcover. But yeah, Deadpool. Probably the one superhero that actually has a pretty good trilogy. I also picked up Godzilla Minus One on 4K. 
this was a movie I wanted on 4K, so I'm happy it got a release and happy to have it in the collection. I am, however, keeping my bootleg. And the reason why I'm keeping my bootleg is because my bootleg has the colored edition and the black and white. This doesn't have the black and white version on it. So that's why I'm keeping my bootleg, because my bootleg has it in black and white if I choose to watch it in black and white. But yeah, Godzilla minus one. I really liked this movie. Happy to have it. Finally glad it has a release. Okay, and the last title I picked up in November is actually a bootleg. And the reason why I got this bootleg made was because the bootleg only cost me $16, where the real movie would have been well over $40. And this is a movie that people said was very disturbing and things like that. And the thing with disturbing movies is that sometimes if that's its only gimmick, and the story and the characters tend to suffer, and the movie ends up being shit anyway. The whole gimmick of the movie is it being gory and disturbing. So I didn't want to pay a whole lot of money for it, because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. And I'm glad I didn't buy the real thing, because I really didn't like this movie. <laughs> but the movie is Inside. It's a French movie. Okay, I'm not going to show the disc. Um, it's a French movie, but it's very stupid. It's very stupid, and it's not as disturbing as I thought it would be. Like, when I was hearing reviews for this movie, people were like, oh, this movie's horribly disturbing and gross, and I'm just like... Uh, I don't know, maybe it's because I watched a lot of gross things in my life. I'm kind of numb to it. But this movie wasn't all that bad. It's actually, like, on the rating of gross and disturbingness, this is baby level, in my opinion. So, it didn't have all that going for it. And the one thing that they were trying to, like, get with this movie is that, oh, the woman that's being attacked is pregnant and everything she's feeling the baby is feeling too which i guess is kind of an interesting perspective if the baby wasn't a horrible cgi monster and every time it was showing the woman get hurt to flash in to see like what was happening with the baby the baby was horrible to look at so i'm just and not horrible as it, it was gross it's just it's bad cgi very very bad cgi and it took me out of the movie a lot because I'm like I don't want to see that grotesque horror CGI monster please just go back to the movie story revolving around the baby because the baby is the reason why the woman is being attacked and that whole aspect of the movie was retarded uh, before the movie starts the movie starts with an accident and the woman is pregnant and she survived the accident with the baby and that whole setup is the reason why she's being attacked it, I guess it's supposed to be, I guess you could say it's a revenge movie, but it's kind of a very stupid revenge motivation, in my opinion. Yeah, it, it, it just sucked. It, it wasn't for me. But yeah, I'm happy I got the $16 bootleg, because if I spent $40 on this movie, I'd be very upset. So, but yeah, Inside, wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but if you like sick gross movies and you're trying to build up your horror nauseation level, I guess you can try it. All right, everyone, so that's everything that I picked up in October and November. What did you think of my haul? Please comment below, let me know. Now, I've already reached out to the Jewel Code winners in October, so they already have their codes, but I do have two codes for next month's giveaway, and that is Deadpool and Wolverine and Maxine. So if you want to be a winner of one or possibly both of these codes, all you have to do is be a subscriber to my channel, go follow me on Instagram, find the thumbnail of this YouTube video on my Instagram, ask to enter there. All right, everyone, take care, have a wonderful night, and I'll see you next month. Bye-bye.